Do you hate the way grid view looks in Airtable interfaces and are looking for another way? If so, this video is for you. My name is Max Bernstein, and this is Industry Automations, where we make custom Airtable bases for music industry clients. Let's dive right in. If you've been following along with the lesson series, then you know we've been building a ultimate Airtable base for a record label. Um, in an earlier lesson, we touched on briefly uh, how to display some of this information in interfaces, and I'm gonna show you some options. So we click into interfaces, and we've got our basic interface here. Artists, releases, employee directory, etc., etc. So in the releases table, we've got grid view. Personally, it just looks like uh, embedded Airtable view, not very slick in my opinion. But on the artist table here, we started to experiment with list view. So let's um, open up the editor and let's configure this a little bit better. So one of the things that um, you can do with list view is you can open the records. And very recently, uh, they allowed you pick how you want the detail page to show up. Full screen gives it to you like this. So let's go back to start and show you what that looks like. Or a side sheet. And in my experience, side sheet is much more desirable because it allows you to kind of very quickly click in and out of different records of different, in this case, artists, and see all the information that you want lined up. So let's hide all this information. Let's bring back in the name. Let's make that name extra large. Take away the label. And see what else is interesting to bring in here. Um, marketing team. I know that we don't have a ton of data filled out as this space is still in progress, but nonetheless, we can bring in the marketing team information. Uh, we can bring in a notes field, uh, I don't know, Instagram URL, whatever, whatever. And then we come back out and we make these things editable, which means that people with permissions on your team can come in here and start writing their notes and start backfilling the Instagram URL. They can put in all sorts of information that you could care about with regards to this artist and it'll just get stored directly in the right spot in the database. So here we go. Okay. Now if we go back, to the actual database part, and we look at the notes section, you can see for the killers, it's got that lorem ipsum dollar. This comes from the database itself. Now we go back to the interface, and there it is. It's actually getting populated right now. So that is one of the reasons why I think list view is better than grid view. However, list view does not offer groups, groupings, because it has a totally separate way of handling grouped records. So if we wanted to go to the releases schedule, and at the moment we're grouping all releases that have a date in a given week, in that week, because the way the music business works, as you know, is whether it's released on a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, it all matters about that Friday's releases. So March 22nd, March 24th, it's all being put out this week in week 12. March 13th stuff, I'm sorry, March 27th, March 33rd, 31st, it's all being put out in week 13. Now you can't do that if we were to turn the releases table into a list view because, and I'll try to do it and see what happens, there are no groupings. The way that you group on the list view is by adding a level. Add levels of hierarchy to your list. Try it. Now, 
In this video, we're not going to touch on that, but if you ask in the comments, if you're interested, we will set up the base such that releases can have levels of hierarchy and then you can have list view look exactly like the groups that we wanted from grid view. What we would need was to have separate linked records for each week, which would make sense to have anyway, because then we can roll up information across time to say, um, in this week, um, we had this many releases, we spent this much money, whatever, whatever, we can roll up metrics into a reporting table, and we would need to link those to um, a reporting table with weeks as the records anyway. Um, but that is for another video. Back to the artist table for a second. I want to show you guys something that I think is super powerful that honestly I just learned. So we brought this list in uh, as a blank element. We came into here and we brought it in. Now I'll delete this because we've already done it. But just so you know, that's how this list came onto our interface. And because of that, we're limited by the functionality, particularly the one I'm about to share with you. So what I want you guys to get in the habit of doing is by bringing in the list view, pardon me, it's still not working. at the page level. So let's go back to um, all of our pages here. Okay, let's add a new page. And when you get to this view, it's been my habit to click blank and then just start building. But there are things about these pre-formatted templated views that they don't offer when you come in this way. So by coming in this way and choosing their list, linking it to the artist page and finishing it, let's call this artists, I don't know, V2. We're able to utilize these filt and sort functions in combination with some pretty sharp looking elements like tabs and drop downs. So before we show you real quick how to do tabs and drop downs, I have to set up a field here that will help us sort these things. So let's say insert right, we're going to call this um, um, territory. We'll make it single select. We'll call this domestic. And then we'll call this international. So let's say we have artists who we represent in our home territory, artists who represent international territory. And every artist that we have is either one of these two things. So I think we have 77 artists. Let's just go half and half. Boom, no, nope, they're half and half. So presumably when you're on your interface, you wanna look at artists that are domestic and international together, not all jumbled up. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to change the fields that are being displayed. In this case, let's just put the name of the artist followed by the territory. And we can put that notes field in too if you want. Um, ultimately, you might want to put in like who from your team is on the marketing, who, who in the marketing department represents this artist from your team. So at the top level, you have a list of names and press and digital and A&R and streaming and all these people. You can very easily see who's um, responsible for these artists on your team. We haven't built that out yet, but I'm happy to if you guys request it. So now we want to use some of those fancy tools that came in from the format uh, from the template. 
So we hit filter and sort, select tabs, we add a tab. In this case, we're going to call it domestic. And that's where territory is domestic. And let's add an another tab. We'll call this international, where territory is international. Then let's move this all records up. Let's rename it. Just needs to say maybe all. And here we go. What does that look like? All. all right, you've got all your artists. Oh, and then we've got domestic. Just domestic. And then we got international. Just international. One more thing I want to do is I want to sort these things for sure because right now they're just kind of lumped in there. But let's sort them by name, A to B. So Alanis Morissette, Beastie Boys, right? A, B, C, D, Drake, all international. Domestic, ABBA, blah, 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 blah. So now we can publish this. This could be the home page. Let's move that up. This could be the home page of your interface where your employees can come and look all domestic, international, and from here they can navigate right into the details pages. Now, what I will, did not allow for is the opening of the record, but now that's done, let's publish again. So we've got boom, 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 boom. Now, one thing I wanna add to this here is these artists have releases right so let's add the release gallery let's put them down here let's change the appearance we don't want an image field boom no image field Take up to four. Uh, remove some of these. Let's put in some better info here, like release date. Hmm. Release date. Oh, release dates in there. Um, status. And I don't know, the format. Type. Type. All right. And now, the, you know, the detail views can go on and on. We can enable to open up the release detail view. And then you've got all your release details. And that's where you really can put um, a lot of the great information. So, by doing it this way, you can come in. Let's see, Bruce Springsteen's got some information. We can change it. This is an update about Bruce. Put his Instagram URL, look at his releases, click one of them, get that information to populate, and on and on and so forth and so on. All right, that's the video. This is Max. Industry Automations, we make custom Airtable databases and interfaces for music industry clients to help solve the culture of chaos and the culture of urgency that we think is entirely avoidable in this uh, amazing industry. Anyway, feel free to click the link in the description to reach out and um, we'll be in touch to see if we can help each other. So long.